So if you've been following me for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Evernote. But Evernote is a tricky thing to get your head around. What is it really for? Is it a note-taking app? Is it a task management app? What is it that it actually does? Um, and so what I thought I would do is show you how I use Evernote um, and maybe that will give you some ideas about how to use it um, as well. I take it very literally. I take what Evernote say on their website very much to heart, which is that Evernote is a way of remembering everything. So it's like my external brain and I put absolutely everything in it, as you will see. Now, let me introduce you to the Evernote interface. Now, by the way, this is the Mac app. There is a web app. There's an iPhone app, an Android app, a Windows app, etc. But this is the Mac app you're looking at. But they're basically all the same. So what we have here are notebooks. Um, so we have a notebook view. And within notebooks are um, various notes. So here are all of my notes, as you can see. Then you can tag notes as well, and I have various tags. Um, and uh, as you can see, tags can be hierarchical, um, so you can embed them in one another as well. Now with the notebooks, your notebooks actually are kind of hierarchical too. They have two levels of hierarchy. So this is what a notebook looks like. And then also you can have stacks of notebooks, which have got this white label on top. And as you can see, we've got a stack of different notebooks underneath. Now. Um, in addition to that, in the interface, you've also got shortcuts, which are to either notebooks or individual notes that you use on a regular basis, and it will also show your recent notes. Now, one of the big decisions that you um, have to make when using um, Evernote is to decide whether you're going to be mainly task fo focused or notes focused, sorry, not tasks, tag focused or notes focused, and which kind of way you're going to go with it. Actually, I mix and match a little bit um, of both, as you can see. So this is, let me talk about from the notebook point of view first. I have my life organized pretty much in a series of notebooks. I have an inbox, so as new notes come in, I dump them in there before I tag them and, and uh, put them in various places. Um, and then I have things split into these different areas. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it, it's just how I've chosen to do it. So I'm gonna go through each of them very quickly. Blog post ideas, pretty obvious that. I blog a lot and I blog for different places and on different subjects. And so I've got notebooks for each of these different um, areas. So I blog a lot for my own blog. Um, I blog some personal stuff and also blog quite a lot for Smashy Magazine and e-consultancy. Now these two are series, um, a series that I'm currently running. As you can see, they have no notebooks in because I, um, or notes in because I have finished those two series. And really I can get rid of those now, but I haven't yet done that. So that's how I organize my blogs. So if we go into any individual one, like um, uh, Boag World Posts, you'll find a mixture of posts in here that um, I have written before and also ideas that I have coming up. Now, you might think, well, how can I find, tell the difference? You know, if I want to see all of the, um, the notes that um, I still got to write and haven't written yet. Well, what I can do is I can use tags to help me with that. So I can go tag colon um, one day, which are um, posts that I intend to write one day. And here we go, we've got 26 of them of different things that I'm considering writing at some point. Now the other thing you can do, which is quite nice, is you can save these and you can see, you know, I've got blog posts, uh, biographical posts to write. And if I click on that, it basically is gonna, um, you know, have those criteria saved and I can come back to them at a later date and see which, which web um, ones I've still got to write, okay? So that's my blog post section. Um, now, if I close that one down, I also have an inspiration notebook, and this is again split down into different areas. So I've got my beautiful world inspiration, which is just basically incredible photography of amazing places that inspire me. Um, no real reason for that, um, other than the fact that I like traveling and like to collect places. So um, that's that one. Um, I've also got illustrations. I've collected various illustrations that I like, um, as you can see here. Lots of different illustrative work that caught my attention. 
Then we've got infographics. Again, lots of infographics that have grabbed my attention for various reasons and that I've kept together. Um, inspirational imagery. Now this is tends to be stuff that I've either favorited on um, Instagram or on Flickr. And these are actually being pulled in using a website called uh, ifthisthenthat.com. Um, or it's ifttt.com actually. And that allows you to plug, you know, things like Instagram and uh, Flickr together to pull stuff into Evernote. So you can do all kinds of clever things like that. Um, so there's my inspiration imagery. I've got inspirational marketing. When I see good bits of marketing that grab my attention for whatever reason, um, I pull those in as well. Um, so I've got some really kind of clever stuff just to kind of keep it, um, you know, available to me if I'm, you know, if I'm looking for inspirational ideas when I'm doing design work, etc., or to show clients as well. Inspirational UIs, and this is basically um, just websites that, that, and bits of websites that I've really liked for whatever reason um, and that I've collected together. And then finally, I'm a great fan of photo manipulation. Um, you know, people that do really clever st stuff in Photoshop. Again, there's no real reason for this other than I find it fascinating. Um, this guy in particular, I, I absolutely love him and his wife. He's done a whole series of him and his wife and about their relationship. So you can see he's combined the two of them together here. And look, he's got him with his wife as a, um, a, a, a doll and then they're fighting and all kinds of really clever stuff. Anyway, he's into photo, photo manipulation. I am too. So I have that in there as well. So that's my kind of inspiration library, if you like. Then I have my kind of not working stuff. So this is all my family stuff, the youth group that I used to run, any bits of freelance I do outside of my work with Headscape. Um, and then I create some ones that are ad hoc, like at the moment I've got um, a holiday to the Maldives coming up, so I've created a, a notebook for that. Um, my son's homework, I get him to put his homework into Evernote um, uh, because then I can kind of um, print it all out for him and do stuff with, it, with him on that. And then finally, I keep receipts. I've got hundreds and hundreds of receipts for everything that I've ever bought um, that, that are all in here. And I scan those in with a little scanner that I have. So that's kind of my non-work life. I have a reference library as well, um, which are about different um, things that I'm into or researching. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of work with Agile at the moment. So I've been collecting notes on Agile. Um, I've been reviewing the gov.uk website and I'm collecting bits and pieces from that. But then there's more generic stuff, like I've got inspirational quotes, things that people have said that um, I, I really love for some reason, and I kind of collect those all together as well. Um, I do the same for work quotes. Um, you know, these ones are about things like attention span and, and usability and all kinds of things there. Um, and then in addition to that, I have reference images. These are images that really I think I'll probably end up using in a talk at some point. Um, a lot of kind of fails I have in here, like this great um, uh, page from uh, um, Lloyd's Banking where they have this wonderful error message. So there's various things in here that I've thought is great. I love this one. Check it out. Free postage, £1.50. Um, so it's all little things like that that I kind of keep around because they're useful to have for, for talks and blog posts and that kind of thing. Then I have tips, tricks and tools, which are, are loads of, you know, it might be life hacking bits and pieces that I really like for some reason or another. Um, or it, it could be um, things that I've learnt about typography from, from various talks that I've been to or better stuff to do with colour schemes or multi-markdown cheat sheets. Any kind of tip, trick or tool goes in there. Um, and that's that's the kind of reference section I have. I also um, use, remember I mentioned that website, IFTTF? Um, no, IFTTT.com. Um, then, so that backs up loads of stuff for me. So it backs up, backs up my blog posts for me. It backs up my bookmarks to Delicious. Um, it even takes stuff from my jawbone up um, and backs that up as well. Um, uh, more my photographs that I take on, you know, flick, put up to Flickr or Facebook or, or Instagram or anywhere like that goes up there. Um, all my social media mentions um, from using Buffer app or Facebook or whatever goes into here as well. So I've got a record of all of that stuff all in one place. And then also I use the screen capture tool Skitch 
um, which uh, I back up here as well. I'm not sure that's really in the right folder, um, but it just is where I keep it. Then I have my wish list, right? So this has three things. It's got cool products that I've seen that I want to buy um, or I am in the process of buying um, and waiting for them to arrive in the case of my OC dock um, that I've got coming. But yeah, all kinds of weird stuff, even stuff that amuses me like push-up pants for men. Um, that went in there as well. Um, a cool wallets, all kinds of different cool products that I like the look of um, uh, for some reason. Don't worry, I don't have push-up pants in case you were wondering. Um, then I have places I want to visit. So I've got various trips that I, I would love to do one day from, um, and I grab pictures of the places that I want to go to inspire me to one day make the effort to go there. At the moment near the top of my list is Iceland, in case you're interested. There's, uh, um, there's Iceland just, I, I love to go to Iceland for all kinds of reasons. Um, but there are loads of other places I want to go. It's quite a long list as you can see. Um, and then finally, I have a bucket list, stuff I want to do with my life, whether it be learn magic tricks, speak at TED, celebrate 50 years of my marriage. A lot of them are travel orientated. Um, visit a proper desert with Duke dunes and that kind of thing. I'd love to do that. I'd love to learn to dive, um, uh, go to a tropical island, all kinds of different things that I would love to do with my life. And I keep a bucket list of those as a notebook. And then finally, um, I have a working folder which has got app ideas and clients and, and work receipts and, and those kinds of things in it as well. So you get the kind of idea from my notebooks. Then in addition to that, I kind of all my notes are organized into notebooks, but they're also tagged as well. Um, so, you know, I've got different subject areas of, of blogging that I want to cover, different types of documentation, whether someone wrote me a letter or sent me a brochure or whatever else. Um, imagery broken down into things like, you know, is it abstract? Is it screenshots? Is it black and white? Is it typography? That kind of thing. Location, I find a useful tag as well, um, especially for things like conferences or traveling to know where stuff, you know, where, um, you know, I might want to see all the places. Say, let's say I was speaking at a conference in North America. It'd be great to be able to pull up places I'd like to go in North America to see whether any of them are near the conference I'm attending, that kind of stuff. Um, I have personal um, stuff as well, um, peaks, individuals, different subject um, um, uh, areas from, you know, my faith through to, um, you know, the, my geek and gadget obsession to cool hotels that I've been to or I like. Productivity is a big area for me. Um, success, sci-fi, steampunk, all different kind of areas of interest to me and the personal Sources is where stuff has come from, you know, has it come from uh, the tw uh, from Twitter or Tumblr or Foursquare check-ins, has it come from my up, is it um, a, something I've read in Pocket or wherever else. Um, I have statuses as well. Um, uh, you notice this is ridiculous number on tag, that's because anything that comes in, um, once I tag it, it gets the tag tagged. So I can see anything that's untagged by um, using this search criteria here, minus tag tagged. Um, and that shows me what I still need to tag. A little bit obsessive compulsive, I agree. Um, a fail is a, a, a one I like a lot of just ridiculous things like captures and uh, really bad subscription forms and um, you know screw ups on e-commerce sites and all kinds of things like that. Um, so loads and loads of tags um, going on relating to status. Work as well, obviously, is broken down between stuff that's actually to do with um, uh, the the agency I work for, but then also conferences I speak at, Boag World site, um, clients, expenses, those kinds of things, um, people that I work with, and then loads of different subject areas work related. So you know, well, you can see the list here. It might be. Yeah, everything I've ever written or I've ever added to Evernote about e-commerce, for example, or simplicity, or leadership, or psychology, or content strategy, you know. So you can see there are all these different areas um, of interest to me. So this kind of cuts across the notebooks, if that makes sense. So that's essentially how I organize myself in Evernote. And I literally keep everything in here. You know, all of my blog posts I write in here, all of my, um, you know, upcoming um, ideas for blog posts go in here, everything. Let me just show you an example of um, quite how that would work. So let's, um, 
let's see a uh, blog post waiting to be written. Um, one of the ones that I'm writing soon is about questions to ask when creating content. And I've got a list of questions here, but the other nice thing you can do is you can link from one note to another. So I've got another note um, which is um, about content templates. And so that kind of, I want to include in my in my blog post, etc. And you know, I'll, I'll probably do that um, on numerous occasions. Um, so let's have another look. Oops, hit the wrong search link there. Uh, let's have a look what else could do um, I don't know whether I've done it with anything else actually do you need a web strategy maybe in there yeah there's a couple of um, other notes in there um, yeah so you get the kind of idea and then of course what makes this most powerful of all is the search function functionality so you can say for example show me um, anything with the tag traveling um, but also the tag um, North, whoops, North America. I need to put quotations around that, otherwise that isn't going to work. And there you go. I've got all of the places that I want to travel in North America. Um, and also various other things where I've been to North America already and I've, I've bookmarked various things to do with that as well. So it's across multiple um, you know books there so you can do some really powerful searching in fact the searching so powerful I keep a shortcut to Evernote advanced search facilities um, which is a notepad of all the kind of cool um, search things that you can do because it is just so incredibly powerful so there you go that's Evernote in a nutshell for me hope that's useful and hope it uh, will inspire you to put more stuff into Evernote